I still don't know when Craig's birthday is. <laughs> Vinny's birthday is 1010, which right. was the date of a horrible TNA pay per view. Scarred that for I life. made him watch on his birthday. It's uh, the 8th of April. April 8th? April's and 8th. Like the Aces and 8th from TNA. No, Vinny, come on. April's and 8th? Yeah. Your birthday reminds us of one of the worst factions ever in wrestling. You Craig. just said my birthday reminded you of a TNA pay per view. Yeah, but which... it's you. What could be more <laughs> apropos? <laughs> What a miserable, depressing show this has turned into. <laughs> it just wow. started. I know. I don't want to go for another hour of this. The Renegade Twins, it's Robin and Charlotte. Not yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, what, what? Are we going to have to go through this again with Dave? It's not Monet. Mercedes Monet. The former Sasha Banks. Monet. Monet. So I said Monet. Monet. Yeah, not Monet. I thought Monet possibly as well, but it's Monet. Aubrey Evans was great. Aubrey Edwards. God damn it. Who is Aubrey Evans? There is no Aubrey Evans. Should I Google this? I don't think so. Should I open up a uh, special window? (laughs) Aubrey Evans urology. (laughs) Excuse me? That's what I said. (laughs) Aubrey Evans has uh, been in the kind of videos you may guess she was in. We may have a big run-in about to happen right now at PWG. You heard it here first. Yes. Chris Jericho and the Jericho Appreciation Society have crashed the Battle of L.A. I'm sicker than a dog, and so everyone is via remote tonight. I don't know where Sean is. Now he's an S. Meanwhile, there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny? I heard. Hey, well, you haven't heard. No one's heard yet. It's been all over the internet. What are you talking about? Well, not confirmed. A bunch of rumors. There's rumors all the time about all sorts of crazy stuff. If you could choose one last beverage before you die, what would you choose? Water. Put the fire out to where I'm going. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a lot of water, Granny. I didn't think that Granny anticipated a trip to hell upon death. Diesel has hug hold. Head cold? <laughs> hey, hug cold. A hug, a hug, hug hold. hold. Brian is oh, the head yeah. cold. I am the head hold. <laughs> Where's the broom at? That's my question. Yeah. Oh, there is something there. Just turn, have him look more. It's a frog with a wheelbarrow full of fruit. <laughs> I see a fro- I see a frog head. Yeah, there's definitely a frog head over there. Uh, now I uh. see that little devil. Poor Steffi. Every time she comes out, she gets... Poor Steffi, all right. Yeah. Any, anyway, she, her and her dad were in the in the ring, and he was oh, going to give gonna her... It's going to be quite a review a, tonight. He was going to give her a trophy for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the good old days. And then uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Oh. Wow! What do you want me to so, do about it? Uh, what the? <laughs> so he had no problem naming a man... Paul Bearer, but now apparently he cannot bring himself to call this man Spark E Plug. He's got to be Thurman Plug, you know, Jill and Harry Plug, his parents. Well, in a few years, you'll be getting Harry Plugs. Paisley lost her first tooth. Wow. Her and Hanalei were just fucking around tonight, grappling, being little kids. Fucking Hanalei super kicked her in the face, knocked the tooth out. That's how Paisley lost her first ever tooth. God, what a great show this was. John Moxley versus Hangman Page at the opener. I hope you all enjoyed your free pay-per-view main event here on Dynamite. This was awesome. Tony Schiavone introduced Adam Cole, and Adam Cole could a straight babyface promo. This is an A++++++++++ promo. I've already seen one pay-per-view caliber match. Now I get to watch Konosuke Takeshita and Brian Danielson. Yeah, what the fuck? He makes fun of Takesh's name, exactly like you think MGF would. Starts to uh, mock these celebrities in the, in the crowd. It's turned into a, a, a Don Rickles roast at a Dean Martin show. It appears that there are fans who he's gone too far with the cheap heat, and they're, they're turning on him. So, you know, it's, it's a tough thing because he wants to be the most unlikable heel in the business. He wants to be the top heel. He wants to be the most hated guy. He wants to be voted top heel in the Observer, even though it's not a category. But uh, there's a line. So it'll be interesting because I don't think he's going to dial it back. If anything, I think he's going to go further. So the mystery partner, as we all know by now, is not Mercedes Monet. Whether it's because of Brits line or not, or whether it is thought it's pro wrestling and we think all rumors are true, this crowd was expecting Mercedes Monet. 
they never got her, and they were very disappointed we got Tony Storm instead. They did 700,000 moves. All of them looked awesome. It was like the best party match you ever saw in your life. 15 years from now, I'll be sitting in a fucking hammock doing the show in Hawaii, and we'll be reviewing year one through five or whatever of Dynamite. And man, we're going to get to the seven or eight shows, that the string of two months where they did this best of seven, and we're going to go, holy fucking shit, what a fucking series this was. Jesus. Because it was. With Wesley on commentary, I think he was doing Wendy Chu's gimmick where he's asleep all the time. Loyalty is important to me. I respect what Tony and Stax have. Match itself was a decent little mean God, guy, bro. You never give this guy a break. It's because I don't like him. I like his wrestling. As long as he's in the ring and there's a match going on, that's awesome. How long does it take a tattoo to heal? A year? No? Whose car is that? Who's honking? The car going off the... We got a champion who likes to fucking fish. Then we got another guy who likes to go to a diner all the time. You have an Australian who hates Australians and goes to an American fake school. You have a masked man who also likes to do math. His name should have been Mill Mathcaris. The crowd responds to Tiffany Stratton's big return by chanting, You still got it. Still got it? That was funny. <laughs> well, there's two of them, and there's two of us. And Axiom's non face lights up, and he points and says, Goddamn an equation. I see what you're saying. <laughs> he really does like numbers. Yeah. I'm very excited about this. If you this. want to talk to him, you've got to talk to him with math. Yes, you must find something to add or subtract yes. or multiply. He's doing the math. Two equals two. No, two plus two equals four. That works too. It's a tag match. Yeah. Well, yeah, two equals two. Yeah. But that's not what's going on here, Vinny. All right. There's two other men. Yeah. So they do not equal each other. Okay, Brian. I've been carried on a digital wave across the ocean so the world can experience me. Huh. And remember, she says. I didn't know I was carried on digital waves. It's the duo of Toxic Attraction, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. It is Alba Fire, who has come so close to winning that championship in the past. I love Gloria. And I watched like five times, trying to make out who he was saying. I am convinced Vic Wade didn't know her name, but knew it was like Taya Valkyrie, but it was not Taya Valkyrie. And so he mumbled something close to it, to identify her without actually getting it wrong. You can't argue with me. That's not what happened here. 